Okay, so in this question, an ion of charge plus Q moves vertically upwards through a small distance S in a uniform vertical electric field. The electric field has a strength E and its uh, direction is shown in the diagram. What is the electric potential difference between the initial and the final position of the ion? So we need to find delta V that is let's say VA minus VB. So this point will be A, this point will be B. Okay. So we need to find the potential difference now. Okay, fine. So to solve this question, to understand this question, we need to have, we need to delve deeper into, a little deeper into our theory part, because um, I don't know whether that part has been completed in um, various schools around. So I'm giving you that part of the theory also. Listen, from our 11th standard in work energy uh, chapter kinematics, we have done this thing that work is given by F dot S displacement. So in simple terms, if the force is uniform, so I can say that it is this F into delta S and the condition for this is force is constant or uniform. This has to be the, the uh, condition there. Otherwise you can't write it like this. So this work done can be written as potential energy. So potential energy that is, or you can write by U. So delta U will be given by force into displacement delta S. So this is known as electric potential energy. Okay. Which is stored in the system because the work is done in taking the charge from point A to point B. We need not to understand many things here now. We will divide this equation by the amount of the charge now Q. So dividing it by Q on the both sides. Now we know that electric field. So F is equal to QE formula we know. No? So F is equal to QE or you can say E is equal to F by Q by definition. So whatever it is given in your book or by your teacher, if you know any of these formulas, we can directly say that F by Q is E. Similarly, the potential energy and Q. When this, uh, the potential energy is given by Q into delta V. The change in potential difference into Q is the potential energy. So delta U by Q will be given by delta V. That is the total change in potential. So this becomes delta V. This F by Q becomes E and this delta S will remain as delta S. So now they are saying in the question that we need to find the potential difference. So potential difference is given by E into the displacement that is delta S. So accordingly in these equations, in these options, we have C as our answer. All other answers will be wrong. So it is E into S. Well, I have tried to give you the background theory of this topic. Even if now also, even if you are not able to understand what is happening here, please do tell me in the comment section. I know there might be some problems here in this topic. So if you are having those problems, please do let me know. All the best. Bye. Before that, let me verify the answer. And yes, the answer according to the mark scheme is C. All the best. Bye.